Hello and welcome to this tutorial on changing a WordPress theme. Now in order to participate in this activity you will need two pieces of information. One is the web address of your um, WordPress site. The second is your login information. Before we begin let's uh, discuss for a second what um, a WordPress theme actually is. And what I'd like you to do is to think of the theme as a template. It gives the site its appearance, its color scheme, font, maybe a background image, its basic layout, where things are positioned and how big blocks may be. And it also may include additional features or functionality, depending on the theme. Themes are different, and some come with more uh, things than others. Um, but there are also plugins that you can add. So there are things that can be added to your site independent of the theme once it's installed. So we'll take a look at all of that in good time. For now, um, let's get started. And in order to get started, we're going to just open up our browser. Here it is, Google Chrome. And I'm going to proceed to my site, type in my web address, and in a second or two I will arrive at my website. Now it looks the same as I left it. This is the default theme that I got when I created the site and I'd like to change that. So in order to change it I'm going to have to log into the, admin, um, the dashboard, the administrative control panel. And to do that in WordPress you're going to append to the end of the address a forward slash WP dash ADMIN, so WP admin. This is a standard location, and when I hit enter, um, I'm going to proceed to a login screen. Whatever site you create in WordPress, you just append the same string to the end in order to get into your login. Now I'm typing in my username, and I'll type my password below. These were both settings that were created when I created that WordPress site, so hopefully you copied them down. Let's log in. Well, hopefully I copied them down, but I think that was just a typo. So let's give it another try. And we'll log in again. And there we go. Now, this area in WordPress is called the dashboard. It's your control panel, but in WordPress we call it the dashboard. And in the dashboard you have control over certain features, and they're listed over here. Now these are very, very common features that you see um, on the left. And we'll come back and we'll talk about them in more depth. Hosts, media, pages, comments, um, assignments, all the way on down to settings. These are very common, but as we discussed, in some WordPress themes you'll have additional controls over there. This is a fairly simple one. Now we're interested in changing the appearance or the theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the Appearance Control and choose Theme. And what you'll see when we get there is our current theme is 2013. That's what we saw when we loaded the page in the browser. Underneath, we also have an available theme of um, 2012, it looks like. But that's not really the one that we want, so we're going to go out and we're going to look for additional themes. To do that, we're going to click the Install Themes tab at the top of the page, and that will take us to a screen with a lot of options. If you look, we can actually search for themes that have um, emphasis on particular colors if we're interested in a color theme. So I could say that I really want a blue theme and check that box, and it would do its best to find it. We can also look at different layouts, a single column, or we could search for single or two column layouts, um, or any combination of these. But right now we're going to leave them all blank. There are additional search criteria below. We're going to leave everything blank because we're looking for a particular template, and we know how to find it. So what I'd like you to do is type in your search box the word magazine, and then click the search button and you'll come to various temp, uh, templates on or themes on a magazine design and we're looking for magazine basic generally in the second row on the left this is the theme we're all going to load because it'll make it easier for instructional purposes to follow along 
you're welcome to set up another site in your space and play with a different theme. Um, but for this particular project, we're going to stick with mag Magazine Basic. Now, underneath you have three options. The one we're going to look at first is Details. And that will give you a little information about um, what comes with the theme. It will also give you a rating, how other people feel about this particular theme, other WordPress users. We can close that. We also have a preview button. So let's click on that. The preview button will just give you a larger view of what your theme basically will look like. Um, colors, layouts, uh, what's included. You can see there's an archive module. This is where your login would be. And there's a menu across the top. So if we decided that we really like this theme at this point, we could just click the install button and be done with it. But if we want to go back and look at other themes, you can use the close link and it will bring you back. Now as it turns out, we do want to install this theme. We've looked around and this is the one we want. So we can use the install theme link under the theme. And when we click it, um, it will install. So let's do that now. and you can see that it's giving us all sorts of information. It's downloading, unpacking, and eventually it's going to successfully install the theme rather quickly. And we have three options at this point underneath. We can return and look for more themes. We don't want to do that. We can do a live preview so we can see the site as it exists now. But let's wait on that. And the third one is to activate it. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. For now, let's just jump back um, to where we started, to th um, themes. And you'll notice that 2013 is still our current theme. That hasn't changed. If we visit the site now, it will look the same. But under available themes, we've loaded an extra. Magazine Basic is now in our space and available to us to use. So at this point, we can go and we can activate Magazine Basic. It's a separate step from installing it, and um, you have to be aware of that. So if you install it and it doesn't look right, it means you forgot to activate it. So we'll activate it now. And now you can see that our current theme has changed. It's now Magazine Basic. And so our site will now look like this. Okay, let's go up to the top and you can visit your site. And there you go. Now we're back on our site, rcr.net, and it looks exactly like we thought it would. To return to the control panel, you can mouse over the same area and go back to dashboard. That's all there is to it.